What do we got? <clears throat> All right, Cocker, what you got? Consultant driven to a mental breakdown after not being able to save a local DVD CD rental shop. Oof. Experimental farmer arrested for poisoning hectares of farmland with homemade fertilizer. Land unusable for years to come. Oof. Valet found, mur found gruesomely murdered. An ironic literary twist on the trope, remarks the lead detective on the case. Crime boss gunned down on the street by rival mobsters. Escalates turf war. I see. Grim, I will keep this short. I am suspecting a systemic bias in our balancing methodology. The last three humans coming from the facts have to die. I am counting on the accuracy of your judgment. Make it count. So it would be these three would be the ones that die. Huh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh jeez. Glottal. Glottal, you monster. You absolute fucking... Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Uh. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I got my goat. Yeah, I got my goat. Well, welcome on by. Thank you. Thank you, Glottal, for leading, leading your community on over to my ziggurat. <laughs> welcome. Welcome on by, Lycanthropic. Kind, Rudin. I think that's the first time. Is that the first time you've been in here? I feel like I feel like it's the first time because I know I've always wanted to be able to say your name vocally. You know, I say it to myself, but you've never heard me say your name, and now you know that I say. <laughs> Did you come in at a bad time? No, 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 no. I was. You just fucking came in at a pretty good time. We just started the next uh, next round of evaluations, so it's not it's not bad. You just surprise. Yeah, yeah, certainly are spreading chaos <laughs> and surprising me. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you for making room in the Ziggurat, Rudin. Um, for any of you, any of you who don't know me, I am Drekki Ormer, a uh, Draconic Serpent, a Flightless Dragon, or simply a Worm here on the internet, playing some games, having some fun, talking about stuff, and hanging out. Um, I hope y'all had a great time in Glottal's stream. Um, Glottal, you were, ooh, doing some art? Were you doing some, were you, were you working on some more rigging? You doing some more rigging? I know, I know you've been working on your new outfit, and it has been so delectable to watch. Um... Way more. Oh, 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 I hope, I hope it's done soon. I don't, are you, are you gonna make your, are you gonna make your outfit switches their own redeems? Or are you planning on doing it more of your own volition sort of thing? Nowhere near done. <laughs> I, well, I mean, eventually it'll get done. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I wanted to finish the thin mint. There have been Girl Scout Girl Scouts showing up on Fridays, and it's been very painful for my pocketbook and um, waistline, probably. <laughs> well, you can make a thick mint by like stacking multiples. That's for sure. I feel crazy because I don't remember. Twitch highlighting messages from people who rated on over. I wonder if I fucked with my fucked up my settings. Plans aside the outfit based on the night and activity. Crazy cape and shoulder pads will block off UI for certain games. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. That's certainly why, like, 
I I I prefer having this style of overlay, like a designated area for my avatar, um, and then a gutter for various other things, and then chat not over it. Like, I know some people don't like that I make the game smaller on their screens, but you know every every streamer has a different preference and, and style. Thickmints was eating the whole sleeve at once. Uh, oh well. You just you simply unhinge your jaw and just take the whole <laughs> take the whole thin mint stack at once. <laughs> <laughs> Recently got a public rel damn. I've usually been pretty good about keeping on top of Twitch changes and streamer bot changes, but I, I guess I finally slipped up once. Uh, all right, all right. Um. I'm trying, I'm trying to, trying to, re trying to, trying to get my. Didn't mean it like that, but I mean game respect game. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, well, certainly a way to show off one's um skills. <laughs> well, I hope. Um, y'all have had a great night with Glottal. Um, I am not much of an artist. I am playing Death and Taxes today. Bit of a, bit of an interesting thinky game. Um, deciding potentially people who live or die. Um, it's been very thought-provoking and fertile ground for speculation. So, if that's your vibe, feel free to stick around. If you gotta run, that's no problem. I appreciate you stopping on by. Have an amazing rest of your fucking night. Um, Glottal, I know you ignore your fucking uh, self-care messages half the time. So you, of all people, need to stop holding in your piss. Go go leave your piss. All right, go leave it in the bathroom where it belongs. Grab a fresh cup of water, not from the bathroom. Grab the water from your sink and then drink it. <laughs> um, I would say if you are particularly sensitive, potentially sensitive in regards to um, um, death or or suicide or or any any subjects like that, uh, this game doesn't get like super grim dark, but it there have been a couple couple things that have come up that are they touch on the subject. So I, I would I would like to I would like to make people aware that it may be a mention of them, um, j just because every everyone's had different experiences and different philosophies, and I don't want anyone to be uh, uncomfortable or run into something they a situation they were not planning to run into on a Friday evening. Um, but most of it has been somewhat more on the thought provoking and lighthearted side. So, uh, we just got to a day. So, if you don't know Death and Taxes, um, we're basically a Grim Reaper, um, alchemically constructed by a person, question mark, named Fate. Um, it's a little unclear if they are a personified manifestation of the concept of Fate. Um... Thank, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Glow. Yeah, I, I usually try to raid into pretty. I usually try to go into art or cozy stuff after games this myself. <laughs> um. So like, I'm I, I'm still not sure if uh, there have been some lore drops that fate may be as old as uh, existence. Um. But nothing concrete. Uh, my current running theory is that Fate, uh, because they have lived for so long, um, they have become so detached from humanity and deciding life and death that like everyone's just a number and statistics. And so the Grim Reapers, um, because Fate basically gets these profiles, faxes them to me, I decide if they live or die fax them back. So I, 
my under my my speculation is he gets these inflection points or important people where if they live or die something major happens, kind of like Final Destination on a on a major scale butterfly effect. But he doesn't make the decision himself. He gives it to us, the Grim Reapers. Um, the Grim Reapers, like I'm I'm like two and a half weeks old. Um, I have, I don't have like the crushing numbness of, of time. Um, I am better equipped to empathize and perhaps make a true judge of who should live or die. Um, based off of more than just the raw numbers. Um, I haven't hit like a game over situation. Um, I have not spoiled myself on anything, so I'm unsure how much of this game is randomly generated, how much my decisions um, specifically affect events. Basically, all we learn is after, um, when we go to the next day, um, we can open up uh, Cocker on our phone, and we'll see various messages which sometimes we can be like, oh, I let that person live, so that's why this happened, or that person died, so that's why this happened. Sometimes there's extra messages that might be relevant to someone on our current profiles. Um, I haven't... I don't know. It Again, it's very hard to know how much of my decisions are as meaningfully impacting things versus it's just how the game goes. Oh yeah, the vibe is nice, and I f I'm fucking loving the music. Um, also, I, I put it in. I put it in. Oh, oh, there's another one now. So I have this. Um, this piggy bank is actually alive, and when I feed it money, it spawns little piglets. Um, there was one, but now there's two. I'm sure that won't be a problem, and I should definitely continue feeding it coins. It can also oink. So can the children. I also had this squeaky toy. So that's fantastic. Um, but yeah, yeah that's, that's sort of a, sort of like the backstory, my current thoughts. And let's get in. Um, so like every day we get this kind of instruction, which is supposed to, this is from uh, fate. It's like, hey, this is the general rules you should be deciding. So today, it's last three humans coming from the fast sedan. So like, of late, we've been getting these really odd quota requirements. Like the first week, it was more like, hey, we need like two people to die. Or hey, three people need to live who have science backgrounds. Um, or anyone who's 18 to 30 should live. Um, you know, things like that. These last ones have been kind of weirdly random in how they how they're assigning the quota um i haven't been sticking to it to a t but we'll see how this pans out <clears throat> let's start with this jake bartowski unemployed jake a self-prescribed chemist loves to create new interesting recipes in their kitchen jake's latest work involves mis mixing opioids and umpers they also enjoy showcasing their new inventions at the local club scene? Oh, mm. Oh, no. Jake, we don't have to cook. Oh, that sounds awful. That's, I'm, I'm, that's gonna be a yikes from me, dog. Charlie Gock. Frauds, fraud CEO? Are, why did you say CEO twice? I don't, I don't understand. Charlie has been helping their brother, Albert David, hide corporate money and avoid paying taxes for years, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of insider trading and other fraudulent activities. They currently live in a mansion just outside of town. It'd be a shame if something happened to that mansion while they were in it. Kagoxi Emim, Systems Analyst. Kagoxi is on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. 
It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. Hey, Cat Rojan, welcome on by. Thanks for the thanks. Wait a minute, am I am I crazy? Cat Rojan, Cat Rojan of squishy fame, illustrious, amazing. Hey, hey, hey! If you love, if you love, if you love, if you love, if you love this, if you love this, if you love, if you love, if you if you if you love that, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta check on, you gotta check on out this cool cat. This cool person. Um, they are adorable. Their art's amazing. Um, I am honored that they made Squish for me, and I I fucking love it so much. I, I cannot state it enough. I when I first saw your Squish emote in someone else's channel almost like a year ago, <laughs> it feels like uh, I knew I knew that was like one of the number one things I wanted to ever have. <laughs> and uh, thank you for thank you for stopping on by. I'm uh, you know I'm. I didn't make this model. Um, Sapphire or Shadowflox, it's in the it's in the about page. They're the one who who, who made this model, um, the art and rig. I I mostly just spitballed ideas and 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 uh, well, I guess the base snake is mostly mine um, because uh, uh, I have a um, Hog Island boa, which is pretty much the. Uh, the snake snake. Ah! Leonie wants Squish. Leone, thanks for thanks for resubscribing. Welcome on by. I hope you are having a fantastic night, ya 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 fucking crimer. Actually, hold on. Since we have Leone, I'm gonna use you as an experiment. Actually, no, I'm gonna use Glottal because he raided me, and I'm using. I need to use someone who raided me for this experiment. Um, do 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 Click the shout out button. Sorry, Glottal. I know I shattered you out already. Nope. Nope. It's still. I still fucked it up. All right. Note to self: continue tinkering with that. So we will just have to do this. Brief intermission. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I feel like someone tried to make a clip maybe and uh left one around. Oh, what, what number? What, what's CI? I don't know. <laughs> but uh welcome on by welcome on by it's always you know i just want to have some fun but it it feel it feels great when other people stop on by and uh you know it's a lot it's a lot more fun chatting with people you know so i i appreciate you all spending your time here um because your time is valuable i'm just uh, i'm just a silly serpent on the internet getting up to shenanigans <laughs> um where was I? All right, Kagaxi MM, systems analyst. Uh, Kagaxi was on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea while looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. So this feels super tech bro thought line solving problems to me. They see stressed food delivery person and they think, oh, we need drones. We, we, we just use AI, we use robots, we just use drones to solve this. And not thinking about, hey, maybe we don't need the stressed worker part. Maybe they pay the worker enough that they're not stressed. 
you know, maybe maybe we have people able to walk to a restaurant. You know, maybe maybe you know, food places, the places that are less car dependent, so you know, people can get local stuff much easier. Like, I don't I don't like this. I'm I'm getting a hard tech bro vibe. All right, and then the left side. Um, Imogen Solanus, prosecutor. This prosecutor has what it takes when it comes to always getting their conviction numbers up, no matter what. They'll try every trick in the book to get defendants, especially those of different national background, convicted of- What the fuck? No. Fuck off. Yeah, casually vandalized. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, although I did find out, like, if I, like, I was fucking around one time, and then my marker accidentally moved like this, and it instantly marked the checkbox while I was dithering whether, which one I should mark. So it's like, oh, well, I guess I'm having them live or die. Um, also, one thing I suddenly remembered with the uh, drone person, I remember reading about in, um, I want to say it's... I don't remember if it was a city or if it was like Japan specifically, but like criminals were using drones to transport stuff. So then police had their own drones with like nets to catch the criminal drones. And then the criminals got their own drones with like their own nets to catch the police drones before they caught the criminal drones. <laughs> Starting like a drone. <laughs> yes, drone air fights. <laughs> we gotta establish airspace superiority. <laughs> Bart Green, banker. Bart is a wealthy banker, married with two kids. They had an affair with the brother of their spouse, but the partner found out and took off with the kids. Then the brother committed suicide and Bart and Sorrow moved to a huge countryside mansion where they wait alone to meet their lover again. Oh, that's... That's sad. Oh. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Well, let's, let's look at the others. Um... <laughs> Jerry Mural, kid, that's, that's, that's a job, kidnapper. Why? Hold on, this entire batch of people has been, like, really bad. Why, why are there so many bad people? Usually it's like, there's two, alright, these two people are chuds, easy kills, everyone else is a little bit middling, but, what the fuck is this batch of faxes? Jerry is a creepy kidnapper. There's no way around that. Their latest plan is ambling near stadiums wearing a cute mascot outfit and swiping kids who want to take a photo. It hasn't really worked thus far because of crowds, but when it will, they'll demand a substantial ransom. I, I feel like this is like a movie reference somehow. Because when I think like cute mascot outfit, I think someone in like a uh, like in a giant Pikachu outfit. <laughs> I know it says stadium, but like, <laughs> uh, it's so it's like Home Alone tier stupid shit. All right, come on, we gotta have at least one easy live. Erikir Valborg, community manager. Akir is an avid digital sports enthusiast who works at the office of the Parallax Digital Sports League. They are also a death metal vocalist, passionate about getting the very best out of a performance. You know what? Nothing objectionable about that. They seem like a pretty cool cat. All right. Yeah. yeah they're... Oh no. Hold on. Where, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Jerry Mural. Rocket. 
We'll get that Pikachu. <laughs> we'll kidnap Ash and ransom him for Pikachu. Um... I feel, I feel really, this, this makes me feel really sad, like, they had an affair with their spouse. Absolutely not good. Um, I, 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 I really, I really don't feel comfortable with, like, dying on this person, like, I don't know. I, I feel like I gotta hit live. My hope is, is things turn around for them and improve, and and maybe they reform to be a a, a better person. Um, I guess I don't know. It's it's hard when it comes to things where it's a breach of trust because it's like this isn't like war a crime unforgivable thing it's still bad it's not good i would say their their spouse has no obligation to ever ever forgive them or anything like that but from like a broader societal perspective i'm i'm kind of against things that like you know you fuck up once your life's over kind of thing um People, people change. Um, you, the you of you five years ago is very different to your, the you of you now. And you in five years will be a very different person. So I, I, I don't like the idea of, on a societal level, punishing them forever for a fuck up or a mistake. Especially like... Like, I would say an affair, that is absolutely a personal breach of trust, but it's not like they killed someone. They didn't permanently remove someone from existence situation. It definitely uses they, them for the profiles themselves. I believe, no, I don't think this is the first time it's mentioned a third party with gendered pronouns or, or sex, um, but it's definitely anyone, anyone like who's the subject of the profile is always they. And that's also one thing I'm wondering if, if the they, them is because they randomize all of the parameters of the profiles, like the picture, the name, the age, the position. Like I could I could certainly see where they have like, you know, title and position are tied together whenever creating a profile. Age can be like a random number inside a range. Name can be whatever pool. And then we just slap a picture in it. And by having the gender always be neutral, it doesn't matter what picture shows up. Um, and like, I I think it is, I, I do think it would be a really interesting way to design the game that way, because in a way you can sort of construct a, a scenario, even if you, if, if I parse this like gender, if I gendered this and like, you know, my first take with this profile, you know, looking, you know, look, on, on the masculine side, um, you know, the short crop hair. And then I could see like a story of like, hey, they were married um, with a wife and two kids. You know, they had kids. You know, it doesn't say if they adopted them or if um, they, they they are natural. And then, you know, maybe, maybe they realize they may not just be completely cis heter heterosexual and maybe just something bloomed with um, the brother, you know, because they were the male they most often um, were interacting with and felt most comfortable with exploring that part of themselves. And then, you know, maybe this spiraled, unfortunately, um, in this circumstance. And that's just a complete fabrication of assumptions and stuff. Um, but 
again, I had said this game is very fertile ground for for speculation and thought. Hey, Kasara, welcome on by. Hoping you're having a fantastic Friday. We are making fraught physicians on people's life or thefts. <laughs> yeah, that poor file. <laughs> I I certainly uh, doodled a doodled a good bit. Eating some dinner. Grim. Uh, ah, I hope you got something here. delicious. Did you cook, or is it a uh, is it a uh, is it a delivery kind of night? I know I have. I know I've been snacking on Thin Mints, but there is some leftover uh, comfort food from a Cuban place that I don't order from very often because it's gotten very expensive. Oh, right. But uh, Daily. this has been a week where I need comfort. when I have important research to perform. Yes, the cat is Lady Pawington, which, uh, amusingly enough, um, a few days ago was our boss question mark because uh fate was away um the cat doesn't talk question mark it certainly appears to understand us sometimes and it seems to react and this uh this whole death bureaucracy thing they literally have a death department for everything everything including plants because I filled in as a substitute in the plant department one day I had to decide on the death between two blades of grass a tumbleweed a 2500 year old sequoia and a venus flytrap <laughs> uh, let us get on with it No, the Sequoia actually had a couple awards, um, and I so I saved the Venus flytrap because um, I, I I actually have a, I have a special place in my heart with uh, venomous venom uh, venom venomous plants, um, uh, carnivorous plants. Um, I actually had uh, Venus flytraps for a while um, until siblings killed them. Snail reaper, a sneeper? Yes, there is a snail re snail reaper. Yep. Um, and I also talked to a guy. So on the weekends, there's a bar, um, at, and there's a couple people that have shown up. And one of the people, persons I talked to had to fill in in the dog department, um, which made them very sad because they love dogs and they had to decide on dogs to die. So, um, they were very distressed. Um, so I kind of, I kind of gave them an ear to, uh, to vent on and, uh, they seem, they seem to walk away a little bit better for having someone to uh, listen to their troubles and give them some affirmations and guidance. Um, I also... I, I basically killed the grass and the tumbleweed. Um, because tumbleweeds... If you don't know, tumbleweeds are an invasive species that came in from... Uh, uh, I think it was an import from... I think they're native to a place in Russia... And some time ago, in a food import, um, it's thought that some of the seeds got mixed in. And it turns out that the uh, mid, like the Great Plains of, of America, is just fucking fertile ground for tumbleweeds to fuck. And cause massive, massive amounts of problems. Um, I think it's CGP Grey has an amazing video on tumbleweeds. Um, because the Wild West, you know, those little ones and twosies tumbleweeds? Oh, they look so cute. Watch actual videos of, uh, actual tumbleweeds in real life. Um, and you will be very concerned. Russian Thistle. Not the only tumbleweeds, but the most well-known. Yeah, yeah, I, I figured there's, like, multiple kinds. Just because, you know, similar plants have similar, similar, similar vibes. But, uh, alright. Performance I see evaluation. More profiles than required. That job, I guess. Well, don't give me a bunch of shitty people, dude. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Uh, can I ask you some more questions, maybe? Questions, questions, Grim. <sighs> Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration anyway. 
Oh, uh, he earlier earlier um, the other day he said he was going to start writing a book. It's going to be a book containing everything in existence. So I mean, you do you, I guess. I mean, if if it, if it sparks joy, <laughs> take a stab at it. But um, that's a that's an ambitious project. <laughs> Perhaps your questions will assist me. Make sure they are deep and meaningful. What do you think dying is like? No idea. Our immortality precludes us from such knowledge. Wait, am I immortal? I'm basically an alchemy Yet, construct. I imagine it would be a pleasant release. What if death is extremely bad and unpleasant? In that case, at least one only dies once. But more likely, death is just nothingness. And nothing, being nothing, has no inherent positive or negative effects. It certainly depends. Uh, obviously, this this game, it's not really having a determinative stance on uh, post living situation. It like a lot of elements do make me think of Death Parade, and with Death Parade, um, if you don't know, it, it was an anime, one season, very good. But they- OW! Damn it, Derengar, how dare you yeet me into the void? You cannot get rid of me so easily. Uh, but in Death Parade, um, they're sort of determining if people's souls re-enter reincarnation, or if the soul is consigned to oblivion. Um, it certainly is an interesting it's a it's a it's a different decision thing if you know all souls are going into oblivion or if people are being reincarnated. Um, certainly curious if we ever learn more as far as the whole life death thing. We may you know the game really spins on the subject of death for some strange reason. Any other questions? Is there an afterlife? Not in the sense that humans consider it. No. No endless suffering in the grasp of cosmic horrors? Hardly. Damn. All that praying to Cthulhu and yogg Soth. Wasted. Any other questions? Oh, I got nothing. Rand. Goodbye, Grim. The muse beckons. Zero money. Well, that's what I get for fucking up, I guess. Okay. Um... I don't think I've looked in the mirror, so if, uh, another fun thing about this game is you can change your appearance. Right now, I am a fancy cat in a tuxedo. Hello, Joe. <laughs> There's also, uh, the kawaii cat, <laughs> which I've fucking uh, loved for a while. But, uh, I just changed to fancy cat, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that on. But I thought I'd show you all what I look like at the moment. And let's roll on uh, to the next day. I think I got one more day in me some nights. All right, Ooh, five profiles. The assignment. I sensed an eldritch waft of air pass through my office over. Perhaps the essences of those many doomed to death by your actions, Grim. We could not determine the correct amount of humans to mark today, so I leave it up to you. Any humans who seem suspicious have to die. Do choose better than yesterday, yes. Keep your eyes open. Fate. Anyone who seems suspicious, so my mandate is the vibe check. Hmm, that's concerning. Fate's voice makes you expect them to start about the great publishing companies of Ursa Minor. <laughs> Alright, let's see what Cocker has for us on yesterday's events. Cheap safe drones turn out not to actually be very safe. Kill technician during test flight. <laughs> tech, tech pro hoisted by their own petard. You love to see it. Unknown mascot struck dead by lightning in the middle of the day. Stadium officials confused. <laughs> as is as is right. 
Suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police officers come knocking on their door. Prosecutor says arrest was imminent. I wonder if that might be a reference to Shawshank Redemption, actually. Although I don't think he I don't think the, the warden went out with a heart attack, but or maybe not Shawshank, maybe isn't didn't someone in particular suddenly die of a heart attack heart attack in uh, Green Mile? It's been so long since I've seen that movie. And I usually cry during it, so it's not one I usually rewatch. Reminds me of the original narrator for the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy radio dramas? I didn't know there were radio dramas. Huh. Yeah, the only thing I remember from Green Mile is that the guy could transfer the bad, um, I don't know the technical term, but I'm just going to call it bad vibes. Oh, there were radio dramas and then a book. Interesting. I do know there was a, um, War of the Worlds radio event where they, uh, acted like aliens were invading, which, uh, was a mistake because then people were fucking panicking, real thinking that we were under attack worldwide and stuff. <laughs> and they had to, yeah, they had to apologize for that. Like, sorry guys, that was uh, a little bit too unbelievable. Which, you know, good job being believable, but also, oops. Parents beware, death metal artists may be trying to summon demons. No, 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 no. Death metal doesn't summon demons. But it does rock. Legendary prosecutor struck by a massive icicle dies instantly. It was truly a massive icicle. Biggest I've ever seen. Witness notes to reporters. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. All right. So let's just see what we got. We got a Cavonius Tavali. Hunter survivalist. Originally a systems engineer for a large tech company, Cavonius has recently begun promoting a return to grim survivalism, to a hunter state, stalking prey in forests, national parks, and regular parks of the world. Any living beast is considered fair game, and this does mean any. That's, that's not good. They succeeded in summoning, it would give fate something to write about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ike Filani, ambulance driver. Ike is certain that speed is the most important thing about an ambulance driver. Relentless speed, immaculate handling. At work, they braid their hair into a rat tail and have earned the right to wear a custom-made bright orange jumpsuit. This is all suspiciously specific. But I, I'm not picking up what it's a reference to. But just because you're an ambulance driver doesn't mean you can drive recklessly. You're not supposed to give yourself more work as an ambulance driver. Elias Kalan, screenwriter, novelist. Elias talks a lot and really fast when not eating tasty fried chicken. They have a tendency to start singing all of a sudden, mostly on wildly inopportune moments. They work as a screenwriter for TV, just published a children's book, and are a member of a podcast about bad films. Eh. I don't see anything wrong with that. Anna von Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein, eh? judge. Anna has worked as a judge for 20 years and loves their job very much. Not so much because of the bringing justice, but because of the political power and position brings. And Anna likes having power and influence a little bit too much. Bye, Anna. Malena Altamira, taxi driver. Malena is stuck 
right in the middle of a taxi mafia turf war. They've had their tires slashed, their car chained to a traffic signpost, the front window painted, and the interior of their car filled with foam. They're now considering joining an app-based rideshare service. Oh god, that's so bad. Oh, mmm, that's so rough. The, the taxi systems in some cities absolutely are Mafia-esque. But joining an app-based rideshare service is also its own hellscape. Oh, poor Melania. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe if they die, um, people people will see the problem and and break up the taxis because the rideshare services is also absolutely awful. So hopefully this is a a good death, eh. as good as deaths can be. All right, send it. Huh, we haven't had the clouds show up in a while. I don't see fate. Oh, the cat. As you enter, you notice that fate's office is empty, aside from Lady Poddington snoozing on the table. Oh no, this again. The old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piecing metallic clatter. A familiar voice calls from the static. Ha <laughs> ha, Grim. Jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. It is a weekend, after all, and the free time will be essential for research. For the novel, yes? Hey, can I get a vacation? Grim, are you there? Uh, curse this useless apparatus. It never works when I need yeah. it. Are you doing the... Oh, you're breaking up. You better give me some vacation days. Yeah, bastard. So, perhaps you are wondering about the nature of vacations in our profession. Well, those of the highest management only. Fucking of course. Oh, management gets vacations. I mean, it is not as if you need one. Technically, you are just an amalgamation of ingredients. You are not even alive. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. I am certain you have done huh. well enough. It feels like fate is becoming more and more uninterested. Huh. Robot rights. Yeah, exactly. I wonder if the... I wonder if, like, one of the Grimms is to take Fate's position? Like, they're... They don't want to do this anymore? Hmm... Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. Interesting. Yeah. Aha! The bar! Alright. Ooh, new people. Alright, we'll go right to left. Hey there, stranger. Hope you're feline fine this evening. Oh. Yeah. It just Yeah, that's that's how you pay people. You know, you just push the push the money through the, the receiver, right? That's how that works. I don't think I've seen you here before. Let me guess. You're in the... Hmm. Human department, right? Hold on one second. I just thought of something and realized why some of my stuff feels off.
that explains so much. <laughs> oh, well, that's awkward. Aha. All right. All right. It, uh, hmm. Let's just say I, I, I've, been I've, been, I've been working on a few things. You'll probably mo next next Monday um, when I next stream, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about some of the stuff and or announce some stuff. Um, let's see. Anyway, I'm continuing with this. The dark circles, the vibe like you haven't slept for a thousand years. Is that obvious, huh? It is. At least for me. I have more snake? Hmm. Perhaps. Perhaps. Or you see, I'm also in the human department. I do like the little sickle earrings. I think that's uh that's pretty neat. Another human reaper. I've been dying to meet one for ages. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll meet plenty more. Provided you don't get fired. So, I figure you've been here a while by now. How do you feel about the work we do? Sucks real bad. I hate it. Oh? Do you doom scroll on Cocker? Breaking that habit improved my work experience significantly. <laughs> no I haven't doom scrolling. opened it in years. You don't read the news? No. I mean, I used to. But nothing interesting ever happened. The instructions are the same every day anyway. Kill all door-to-door -door salespeople. Alright, so that's kind of fair. And what do I see in the app? The door-to-door -door salespeople died. Great! So very engaging. Okay, that's fair enough. And that's followed by the stories of downright horrible things happening everywhere. No thanks. You ever thought about fate? Asking fate about your never changing instructions? <laughs> I've seen the boss like once. Not gonna happen. I bet it's all part of fate's grandiose plan. The Interesting. They've only seen fate once. But we're seeing them like daily. And who am I? A mere spawn to question it. Um. Congratulations. I huh. just do what fate tells me to. The decisions are not mine to make. A life with no choices and you still haven't given up? Have you ever heard the inspiring story of Scullifus? Scullifus. Hey, Sisyphus, I see ya. I'm guessing you haven't, since it happened way back when we still use rubber stamps instead of markers. Damn, we even have technology progression in here. Okay. So Scullifus spent all day every day stamping all right. profiles okay. to live or die. Okay. They got a grandiose case of carpal tunnel from all that stamping, but still they kept on going. Okay. Every day they'd receive a heap of new profiles, which were basically the same as the ones they'd stamped the day before. Almost as if powering okay. through the carpal tunnel wasn't making any difference. Almost as if it wasn't worth it. Yeah, just Sounds keep rolling good. that boulder. In any case, they kept going. Kept on stamping. Because they had to. Because when you give up, the cosmos, that meaningless entropy, it wins. Huh? And I'm never gonna let that happen. Uh, so Even if it means continue on with spite. Same thing. Day in, day out. That's it, stranger. That I mean, inspires me to wake up every day. I I ain't gonna yuck anyone's yum for where they draw their inspiration. Besides, as long as the coins keep coming, can we really complain? Thanks for the chat, stranger. Anyway, I'm off to sleep. See you later. Probably not. I mean, though. Eventually, everyone's gonna leave Twitter. May not be by choice, but, uh... Perhaps it's gonna... It'll finish burning to the ground. 
<sighs> okay, Birdman, what you got for me? Look at that. It's a hatchling. Oh, I like that voice. I guess they let all sorts work here nowadays. The assemblage must be decay. It seems a bit pretentious, but I mean, like, look at that style. Unbutton the top button, the chain dangling down low. Yet Fans. One must welcome the dregs, one must. What brings you to Florian? Excuse me, Florian the Ara- You have a title? They hand out titles? I'm that efficient in bringing annihilation to- Oh. Oh, jeez. Judgment has arrived. Uh, I think this- I think this guy works in the natural disasters department. Oh, if only I could hear them where. Cursing the injustice of a cold grave. Not that you would understand. Mm. So I think it's very interesting. That first person we talked to, they're just... They're just clocking in, pulling the lever, clocking out. Um, They're just doing a job every day that's all they're doing they don't, they don't they're not really motivated by the job it's just doing it sort of in spite this person is taking specific joy in what they do and that joy is killing Does he hear them after filing? I feel like he may be imagining and cackling in glee. Still, fate expects us to be polite to one's colleagues because it advances synergy and improves long-term morale. Yeah, yeah, you gotta make sure you synergize your hor horizontal integrations for vertical um, synergetics. I, I, I have, I have like a, I have like a twelve-word corpo buzzword phrase, but I, I, it's, it's slipping my mind. It's a late Friday, oh, and it's corpo buzzwords. So I fuck them. Then do my best to enlighten you on whatever matters are bothering you today. You're another reaper that works in the office. I am the best and brightest of the bunch when i aim for the jugular i do not miss all right with blood and guts i will paint my magnum opus on the canvas of cosmos he certainly has a colorful view of what he does all flesh is temporary we here provide <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, <laughs> meat prison, fucking all these fleshy humans. They're simply a brain and a bone mech with meat armor. I free them, release them from their fleshy coils. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh god, I was not expecting that. Salvation, or at least the closest thing they'll ever get. Uh, do you mark all the people for death? Of course not. Rules to follow and quotas to fill, as we all okay. must. Even if I consider management far too lenient. I thought he was, like, marking absolutely everyone murdered, so that was... I just make sure to enjoy every slash and stab. Take pride in a successful exit. Make a good villain voice. Making a good villain voice. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a perfectly normal, moral servant here. Nothing nefarious will ever occur at my scale. For that is what we are born to do. Yes, we Deathbringers all have to die. All have to die eventually when it's time. Sooner or later, what's the difference if the result is the same? An end to their futile existence, to their deceitful ways. Deceitful ways? Humans are pretense and artifice, forever causing misery to each other. My way would bring less pain for all. Okay. Um. <laughs> So, with this guy's philosophy, um, actually, hold on. So he's talking about, are you done? Are you done? Getting me into the void? So rude. Um, he, um, he's talking about, you know, people causing misery to each other. His way of just offing people brings less pain for all. So, there is a, a thought of pain avoidance. Ah, oh, thank you for that. That's a lot. Um, I don't think the fact that people cause misery and, and suffering, like, it's sort of just a natural thing. It's like, everyone has different... Everyone has different perspectives built up from their different life experiences, things they've grown up with, just the different ways they view the world. So there's naturally going to be conflicts, um, intentional, accidental, and whenever there's conflicts, you know, sometimes people, they don't, they don't mesh good, and there might be, there might be some pain, there might be some hurt feelings. Um, I don't think the fact that those conflicts happen are bad um i think the the multiple views and the people interacting with each other in their multiple views is valuable um rather than always trying to avoid that kind of that kind of suffering i think it would it's better to try and take the take the stance of be better than you were yesterday. So if you if you if you had it, let's say you do something and you re, you regret you regret something that you did. You know, don't be better than yourself that made that decision or did that thing. Um, improve. Don't do it again. Um, handle it better. Um, life is always um, learning. No one is perfect. No one always makes the right decisions in all circumstances. You could be having a bad day, whereas in a normal day you would have made, you know, quote unquote, the correct decision in hindsight. The fact that misery happens, I don't think means people should be removed so that no misery happens. If that makes sense. Like, there's going to be some, some friction we can we're all people are mature persons some people are mature persons i'm an immature snake <laughs> all right um Little hatchling. Lessons done with the verb and now with the bartender one of my favorite characters Why, i love her design it isn't the young grimster back again to delight my eye Oh, you flatterer, Trixie. Are you still wearing the same attire from before? Oh, gross. It's been ages. What? I changed. It's not that expensive. All right, maybe you're not one for fashion. Okay, you you got my number. I'm not I'm not one for fashion. I've got just the thing to help you out. Something I've been holding for a special case. Ooh, ooh, what you got? What you got? What you got? To make your day. Check it out later. 
Oh hell yeah. Is averted. Say, how's the grind been treating you since our last chat? Uh, I don't know, I still have trouble deciding. About how you feel about the whole thing? Doubts about the power bestowed into your hands and how you affect so many lives every single day? Um, yes, yes. Makes me uneasy. Can I be sure my choices have the correct results? Isn't this place venerable and they know what they're doing? Uh, sometimes the tasks get a bit confusing. Like there's a tinge of arbitrary design in the darkness. <laughs> Heckin' scary. And you said it. One ought to heat instincts in collaboration with reason. Sounds twice as powerful to me, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wise bartender. Ah, but what do I know? I'm just the barkeep. So what can I get you? I'm sad that she didn't actually wink. Any thoughts on Florian? That one? Heck. What can I say that you won't glean on your own? They try to act all suave on the surface, but truth be told, they're a proper jerk. Yeah, he did seem like he's kind of a dick. At least when it comes to the job. Can't say I trust their judgment too much. You'd think I don't your profession seem needed conscientious workers, right? But don't take this the wrong way. I don't often disparage patrons of the den. We have here a shared experience. Here's to hoping they won't cause some sort of a major blunder. What else you got in mind? Uh, I'll take. I like it. What's your poison? <clears throat> All right. What do we try this time? So gin and tariff tax on the beach. Uh, we had a bloody Gary, corpse survivor, heat death of the universe iced coffee. We've already had that one, and then just milk. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think I think I'm feeling the gin and tariff. Really got to distill the spirits well in order to achieve flawless flavor. Yeah, it's way bit at Florian. The taste hits you with its indescribability. It has an eerie etherealness that blends with an exceedingly high net worth. Underlying the mixture, you sense an ambiguous Baroque scutage. The whole experience, it sends a shiver down your spine. Alright, alright. Sounds pretty oh, nice. Wow, little Reaper. I, f I love how she delivers that line. Au revoir, little Reaper. <laughs> All right. Did she give me something? This looks new. This is new too. Um, well, we talked to the bird person. Um, nope, don't want the smoker. Dog. Dia de los Muertos. Cat. I kind of feel like we should go back to our normal skull to use this outfit. It's a little bit basic, but I feel like the others don't really work. I don't really like the golden. I think I would like the golden if it was just um, the skull with coins in the eyes. Because if I remember correctly, um, in the Greek, Greek or North Norse myth, whenever um, the dead are laid to rest there was the uh mythos of putting the coins on the eyes to pay the ferryman to be taken to the other world so i think it's greece because i think it i think it was to pay for the river sticks travel um but the fact that it's like the whole skull is golden it's just too gaudy for me oh yeah the corpse paint actually i know sometime i probably want to do oh there's there's a lot of new suits. I just realized. I want to do this. 
Yeah, the coins are for Charon. Yeah, for traveling the river Styx. Um, but I do want to switch off that bow tie. Actually, hold on. Nope. So we got Pineapple, King of Halloween. This is as close to a vacation. Like this is this is my Hawaiian suit. <laughs> Let's go with this. Um But How much money do I have? You're such a scoundrel. There should be a bounty on your head. Yeah. Oh, grim cape. Oh, I want a fucking cape. I need 700 money. Mm money though. Shit. I shouldn't have bought all those drinks. I shouldn't have fucked up my job and not gotten paid. <laughs>